Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Russ LeBlanc, your personal NEC consultant and code expert. In this video, I'm going to be discussing the requirements for wiring installed in or under roof decking. All right, we're going to be looking at the 2023 requirements and compare that to the proposed 2026 requirements. So let's start with the 2023 requirements. And this was covered in section 300.4E. Uh, the heading of this section says cables, raceways, or boxes installed in or under metal corrugated roof decking. That's what it applies to. And it's pretty specific. It's only to that. No other type of roof, roof decking, just metal corrugated roof decking, not wood, for example. First sentence says this, a cable raceway or box installed in either exposed or concealed locations under metal corrugated sheet roof decking, a little bit of a tongue twister there, shall be installed and supported so that there is at least one and a half inches measured from the lowest surface of the roof decking to the top of the cable raceway or box. Second sentence says this, a cable raceway or box shall not be installed in concealed locations in metal corrugated sheet decking type roof. Again, a little, little bit of a tongue twister there. Now, this requirement was first introduced in the 2008 code. So prior to that, it was not a requirement at all. And it was very common to see EMT screwed right to the metal roof deck. Very common. I, I've done it. I did a lot of installations that way because it was permitted. But then they figured out, you know what, that could be a problem when they make roofing repairs. And sure enough, that's what happened. Okay, so let's take a look at the 2026, uh, the proposed revisions for 2026. So the first thing is the heading, the name of the heading here. Uh, we're going to get rid of the references to metal roof decking. And we're not going to limit it to cables, raceways, or boxes. We're just going to say wiring methods. Wiring methods in or under roof decking. So it's any type of roof decking, including metal, but it could also include other than metal, like wood roof decking, for example. And we're going to break this down sentence by sentence. First sentence says wiring methods and materials, like a box, wiring methods and boxes, essentially installed under, not metal roof decking, any roof decking, shall be installed to maintain not less than one and a half inches of separation from the lowest surface of the roof decking. I'll show you a graphic of some long nails penetrating wood roofing. And so it makes sense that if long nails or screws could damage wiring methods under metal roof decking, well then, Long nails or screws could damage wiring methods under wood roof decking as well. And so that's what we have now. The requirement applies to all types of roofing materials, not just metal corrugated roofing. Right? When the roofers show up to make repairs and they're using long nails or screws, if they're, whether it's wood or metal roofing, if there's wiring methods uh, installed underneath that roof decking, they could get damaged by the nails or screws. Now let's take a look on the other side of the roof. Underneath, underneath the roof decking, in this case it's wood roof decking, and you see some nails penetrating the wood there. And we have some wiring methods installed pretty close to that roof decking. But it looks to me like there's at least one and a half inches of spacing, certainly between the cables and the roof decking, but even that four inch square metal box. It looks like there's at least one and a half inches of space between the top of that box and the lowest portion of the wood roof decking. So I would give this the thumbs up. Let's take a look at another one. Uh, again, it looks like we have at least one and a half inches of clearance from the wood roof decking material and the cables or the box there. So I again, I would give that a thumbs up. I would not give this a thumbs up. Now remember, prior to 2008, this was very common. I did it. I did it many, many times where I screwed EMT and other wiring methods 
directly to that metal roof deck, just like you see in this graphic. Well, it's a violation. It's been a violation since 2008 to install the wiring methods like this. You need an, at least one and a half inches of space from the lowest portion of that roof decking to the top of the wiring method. So this gets the thumbs down. Here's another thumbs down. Again, the, the wiring method is attached right to the deck and even tucked up inside some of the grooves there. It's gonna get hit by the long screws that the roofers use when they make repairs. And then you end up with this happening, right? Those guys, look at the length of the screws there in the graphic. Those are like nine inch long screws. So maybe one and a half inches isn't even enough, but that's the requirement that the wiring methods be spaced at least one and a half inches until somebody decides maybe we need more. Right now, it's one and a half inches of spacing. Here's another uh, raceway that got hit by one of these long screws. I have a lot of these pictures. There's another one. This one got hit. Okay, now let's take a look at the wording, the proposed wording for 2026. Okay, let's take a look at the wording of the second sentence now. Wiring methods shall not be installed in concealed locations in metal corrugated sheet decking type roofs. So the second sentence still applies to only metal roof decking. Now I'm gonna show you a graphic of a metal roof uh, that has, it's insulated, right? So we, it has a rubber membrane on it and foam insulating blocks. So you can get a kind of an idea of what's going on. All right, there you go. So you see where the green arrows are there, where it says no wiring? You can't install wiring in there because it would be concealed, right? So I, apparently installers would, be, before the uh, vapor barrier got installed and the foam insulation and the rubber membrane, electricians would lay cables, like an MC cable, in that groove or install a raceway in that groove from point A to point B and then maybe go back down into the building. And maybe it was an easier way to get from one end of the building to another. Just lay that raceway cable in that groove. Pretty easy, right? But once they laid that vapor barrier down and put the foam insulation and the rubber membrane, it's now concealed and nobody can see that wiring method. And so we have this problem, again, with the roofers using those long screws to hold down those foam insulation blocks, they could easily hit that wiring method. So no wiring methods installed in those concealed locations where you see the green arrow saying no wiring methods there, not permitted there. Now there's a few exceptions we want to look at as well. Exception one. Ridge metal conduit and IMC intermediate metal conduit with listed steel or malleable iron fittings and boxes not required to comply with 300.6E. So no technical changes there from 2023 to 2026. Pretty much the same requirement. Same thing with exception two. No technical changes there. Inch and a half spacing is not required where metal corrugated sheet roof decking is covered with a concrete slab, having a minimum thickness of two inches measured from the top of the corrugated roofing. Now, because the, there's a concrete slab poured on top of the roofing, there's virtually zero chance of screws penetrating the wiring method underneath the roof decking because of that concrete slab. And so that inch and a half spacing gets relaxed for that type of construction. And again, no technical changes from 2023 to 2026 for exception two. So let me show you some graphics here. All right, so here's a close up. Uh, and just to paint the picture here, I'm, at the, I'm in a stairwell in a building, and this is actually a skylight at the top of the stairwell. So I'm looking up at the roofing material and it's corrugated uh, sheet metal type roof and it has a concrete slab poured on the top and so because of that concrete slab you don't need to worry about long screws being used because there's no foam insulating blocks installed there right so they're not using long screws to hold down those foam insulating blocks so you can screw the wiring methods right to the deck now and let me zoom out and there's that's the same skylight and you can see the concrete slab and then the rest of the roof, and 
you can see the wiring method is screwed right to the deck. And this is okay because we have that two inch concrete slab poured on top of that metal corrugated roof decking. And it doesn't matter what type of concrete. All right, this was actually my submission. So when I looked into it, there was anywhere from 17 to 26 different types of concrete, depending on which resource you looked at. It doesn't matter what type of concrete, whether it's lightweight concrete or very heavy concrete, doesn't matter. I don't care. As long as there's at least two inches of it, you can screw wiring methods right to the deck if you want to. Not a problem. Now, there's a new exception for 2026 that we want to look at. And it's exception three. Brand new. This was also my submission. So I'm pretty familiar with the technicalities here and the nuances, if you will. Wiring methods and materials are permitted in concealed locations where metal corrugated sheet roof decking is covered with a concrete slab having a minimum thickness of two inches measured from the top of the corrugated roofing. Any boxes or conduit bodies still have to be accessible. So you can install wiring there, wiring methods like raceways and cables concealed, but the boxes still have to be installed so you can get the covers off and get at the wiring inside. So let me show you another graphic here. All right, here's another example of a metal corrugated roof decking with a concrete slab. In this case, this is actually a ladder, an access ladder to a, a roof hatch. All right, if you look close, it's actually a roof hatch to get you out onto the roof. So I was able to get up to this and take a close-up picture of the roof decking with the concrete slab on it. So see where the green arrow is pointing? That's the concrete slab on top of the roof. If you want to install wiring methods in there, you absolutely can, as long as there's two inches of concrete on there. The chances of long nails or screws penetrating it, pretty slim because of the concrete there. Um, but if you have any boxes installed, you still have to make sure that the boxes are installed in a way that you can get the cover off. So the covers have to be accessible. But at least you can put wiring methods in those concealed locations now. That's pretty cool. Thank you for watching. More videos coming. And as always, please visit russellblank.net for more information. See you in the next one.